dear friends i will explain you how rem and phase formula has been derived this is uh, will be quite uh, interesting and useful for young engineers and technicians who want proof of anything before using it so g is the uh, coupling gap which is your angular reading which is the angular reading c is coupling diameter on which dial rotates okay so it's uh, clear l1 distance from forward support l2 is the distance from back support okay now you can see here uh, in the figure below that this g g is from here to here this is your angular reading and this is equal to this p p is from here to here and q is from here to here p minus q is g gap difference which is g here and actually it is this, this is the same thing as angular uh, alignment reading angular reading and you, this you may have with the dial integrator fixed on the face and this is your rim reading and this is your pump which is fixed fixed means uh, stationary where you don't add or remove shims and this is your uh, motor movable where you are going to add or remove the shims and your fixture is fixed on the pump side and uh, you can see here this motor this is the, your required position motor which is movable where you want will be adding or removing the shims this is fs front side and in this figure you see can see here that you have to add the shims here and then this is bs this is the back support here in this figure also you see that in this position of uh, motor you will need to add the shims which is equal to bs here okay l1 is this distance from here to here and l2 is the distance from here to here which is back support l1 is from the coupling face to the front support so i think uh, it's all clear about all these different things okay and uh, now what we you can see here there are two triangles one triangle is this and one triangle is this and this triangle is also here and uh, you can see here that these three triangles this triangles this triangle and this triangles this triangle and this triangle they are similar triangles as per their geometry so you can see here you can write the equation below fs over l1 is equal to g over coupling diameter from here fs is equal to g into l1 divided by coupling diameter same is you is the relationship with back side bs over g is equal to l2 over coupling diameter b fs is the amount of shim which you need to add or remove from the front support bs is the amount of shim which you need to add or remove in the back support l1 is the distance from the uh, from the from the coupling hub face to the front side l2 is the distance from the coupling hub face to the back support and g is your angular reading or gap difference again g here g is the gap difference or angular reading so this this because of similar triangles you can see this relationship is coming here okay now i tell you you can write whatever way you like fs this is fs over this is l1 fs over l1 is equal to g over coupling diameter similarly you can write bs over l2 is equal to uh, this uh, uh g divided by coupling diameter again bs over l2 this is l2 is equal to g over coupling diameter so you can this equation you can see here downside or you can also say and this like this uh, fs over g fs uh, over g 
is equal to L1 divided by coupling diameter and here Bs over G is equal to L2 divided by coupling diameter. So in both ways you can write and you can derive it here. Here it is written Fs over L1 is equal to G over coupling diameter and then you can find this result. Same thing is here Bs over G Bs over G is equal to L2 over coupling diameter. So that was uh, how you derive this formula and this is the final result. Thank you very much and as you know that this is the present position of the motor. This is the present position of the motor and this is your required position. So that was that is how you derive this formula. Thank you so much.